Hi, everybody. It is um, the second. It's Wednesday. Today is our Clubhouse live stream. I can't wait. A couple hours from now, I got some errands to run after I do this and um, some books to sign and take to the post office and all kinds of crap. Had the boys out for their walk and their breakfast, so everything's Groundhog Day once again. So I'm going to get right into music. This is going to be kind of a funny one for me because I cannot find any individual tracks of this artist on YouTube. I can only find the uh, complete album. So I've grabbed a couple of songs and wrote some numbers down where, where different tracks are on it. Um, I want again, once again, thank Steve Wiley at Dino Computers for um, saving my ass. Um, getting this really, like he said, one of the worst hacks he'd ever seen. He managed to get me back in and we put in like the Great Wall of China around my stuff now, so it'd be impossible. Um, I, darn near impossible, he can never say 100%, uh, but for anybody to get in and, and mess with this all again. So I'm grateful of that. Also, some people noted yesterday, they said, oh, yeah, the audio was a little bit weird on your video yesterday. Um, I was sent a, uh, a little mic that plugs into the phone, which I use for this, that I was told really is like, that. it's the bomb, and it is like the, the killer thing. And, uh, and, and that's what everybody was going, yeah, and it didn't sound as good as usual. So I'm sticking with my, my phone mic. <laughs> Just don't touch anything you know, on the... For some reason, I don't know why. The chair, I've never done anything to the chair. A little bit of squeaking, but for some reason, I don't know, maybe the, the change of climate or something like that. Um, it hasn't been squeaking quite as much. But I'm going to get right into this music. Um, got some notes written here. Um, this is an artist uh, that I, we did back in 1977 and his name is Michael Clark. Now, the thing that was really complicated with all of this is there are so many Michael Clarks. Um, there was the drummer in The Birds was Michael Clark. I think the drummer with Herbie Hancock was Michael Clark. Uh, there was another Michael Clark I did an album with, so this one popped up. So I don't really have a lot of history because it's really hard to figure out which one is which when you're looking up Wikipedia and things like that. So I'm just gonna say this is Michael Clark. Um, this album was produced by Jay Center, who I did a number of things with, including uh, Helen Reddy's I Am Woman. And we recorded this at Conway Studios. Um, the band on this is pretty, uh, the lineup of players is amazing. Um, it's me on bass, Mike Baird on drums, the great James Burton from Elvis's band and Ricky Nelson and you name it. Uh, James is like a, a, a complete iconic guitarist in the guitar world. Um, he's on dobro on this. Greg Leitz, uh, who's I've been out with Jackson Brown uh, as of late, but did lots of stuff with um, Crosby, David Crosby and all kinds of people. I worked with Willie Nelson, with Greg. He's on steel. Then on electric guitar, on this, it's Lee Rittenauer, James Burton, Steve Lukather, Rob, uh, Rod Smar, and um, Michael Clark. The acoustic guitars on this are Lee Rittenauer, Greg Leeds, Steve Lukather, and Michael Clark. Electric piano is Jay Winding, Mike Melvoin, and Larry Williams. Percussion is Terry Smith and, and Gary Coleman. Now it's fun. Uh, Mike Melvoin and Gary Coleman were part of the Wrecking Crew, and their daughters were Wendy and Lisa from Prince's band. Uh, so that's an amazing lineup of, of musicians on that. So I'm going to go ahead and play a couple of songs from this, try to nail them down. I've written the numbers down here. The first one is called Sweet Gypsy Eyes by Michael Clark. So here we go. <laughs> Sun's out of sight and the suckers come rolling in. All the world is made with the sweaty hands, full of money that they're rich in a spin. The bright lights an invitation for anything they want to try. But the music and muse just a prelude to you, sweet gypsy eye. Sweet gypsy eye. Sweet 
gypsy eyes Yes, it plays a thing and while the craving sings You burn your life so well One after another they play your lover The leading man who always tells There's Summer in the city But it's snow that's on your mind And the paper will hold it hands on you You're gonna be busy tonight Sweet gypsy eyes Gypsy Eyes. So that was written by Michael Clark. Now I'm going to try to slip up here to, hold on, this is some high tech stuff going on here. Hold your breath. Um, this is called, a song called Drinking Man's Blues uh, by Marsha Ruth, R-O-U-T-H. So let's see if I've found the spot. Um,
rich voice. There's a little B.J. Thomas in there, a whole bunch of different uh, singers I've worked with that, that this feels very reminiscent of. Let's try to find another one. This is a classic old song. Um, as soon as you hear this, you'll go, I've heard it. Uh, but it's a real fun arrangement that we ended up with on it here. So let me, 1912, this should get as close. This is Come a little bit closer. I mean, we're going to hear this. Tommy Boyce and Bobby Hart and Wes Farrell wrote this song. So here we go. song. It's been covered by so many people over the years, but I really love that arrangement of it. I'll do one last one here. This is called Someone Should Have Warned Me, and this is another song by Michael Clark. So here we go. Look in your eyes, 
they should have turned me off But you were more than I had bargained for Looking back I know I must have been blind I thought I stole your heart But you stole my heart Someone should have warned me about you bunch of really great songs on this. It's really a nice rediscovered album for me. So it's Michael Clark, Free as a Breeze from 1977. And it, I was hearing this also just reminds me how much I love playing with Mike Baird as a drummer. I mean, Mike's still around. He's still playing great drums and everything. And he's got a, uh, a channel of his own going now and uh, where he's talking about drums and gear and all kinds of stuff. It's really a fun fun one. I think I'm going to do an interview with him uh, on his channel. Maybe I'll get him to do one for, for us, too. But uh, great, great drummer. Um, so that, that's that. I was, I was, it was really fun to hear this. This one really had slipped under my radar for a long time, and I came across it and thought I'd share it. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload this, take care of a whole bunch of stuff, and then get ready for today's clubhouse hang. So I'm excited about that. I always just love it. And this coming Saturday is our one-on-ones, and I see people have started um, signing up on that, so I'm looking forward to that. That's always a fun day, just catching up and um, seeing what everybody's up to in their lives and uh, sharing our moments together. So take good care. Um, you know, just I'll, I'll, I'm going to thank everybody who's doing the right things, and I'm going to say get vaccinated. Just do it. You know, all the people that are sick in the hospitals are the unvaccinated. It should that should say something to you. There should be no arguments about this. I mean, I, mean, I, I know as an old man at this point that all throughout my life, vaccines came along and I've never had a serious problem because I've had vaccines. <laughs> and so it's kind of simple. So just do it, do it. And I will see a bunch of you this afternoon at the clubhouse. And otherwise, I will be back tomorrow with another little tidbit from my career. So take good care, and I'll talk to you tomorrow or later.